Hello everybody, this is Synthric. Welcome to part <coughs> 5 of my Doom Resident Evil Zero Let's Play. Before I start today's episode, if this episode's released a little late, you can blame Comcast. Because Comcast has been garbage all day today. I've... I don't understand what the problem is. Because until now, I had my PC running on wireless internet, with the router on the complete other side of the house. I got tired of disconnecting all the time, so I moved the router in here and connected an ethernet cable. I disconnect even more now than I did before. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is and it's driving me nuts. Also, uh... As you can tell from my coughing, I'm not exactly any much, any better right now, and uh, I just took NyQuil a few minutes ago, and I have to record four videos tonight, so if at any point within the next, well, this and the next episode of Resident Evil Zero, along with the next two episodes of XCOM 2, if I'm a little loopy, that's why. Uh, so, let's get into this. <laughs> uh, I really, really hate Comcast right now. Why is that zombie still taunting me? Uh, sorry. I need to figure out where I'm going. Because the last thing I did was I opened the night doors. If I remember right. So I need to go back here. And move my mouse out of the way. <coughs> oh, but yeah, back on to the rant about Comcast. Comcast is the worst, almost as bad as Konami. I highly suggest you abandon Comcast as soon as possible, preferably if Google Chrome would finally freaking spread, <coughs> spread across the countries. I cannot wait until Google Google Chrome decimates Comcast. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this garbage. Alright, found the night door. Let's see how quickly I die. Because <laughs> I literally have no health. <laughs> Do I hear zombies? I don't hear zombies. That's strange. Wait, have I been here already? No, I haven't. So what's the problem? Uh, let's see. Oh, finally some bullets. Now, if I could just get a red herb, that would be great. Oh, some grenades. And some more ink. As if I need more ink. Well, I suppose I could always have more ink. Wait. Yeah, you've got room. You take that. Could really use an herb. 420 blaze it. No, oh, not really. I don't blaze. <coughs> Go do drugs, kids. <sighs> I'm back. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Let's see. Wait. Okay. Black, white. So what's missing? Queen was there. Where do I move the king? Oh, okay. So I need to move the king over there somehow. Oh, um, um, really? Really? 
What kind of crap is this? Oh my god. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna restart. Jesus Christ. And I'm back. Hopefully I don't poison myself again. <coughs> Come on. Just grab the stupid ammo. Uh... Alright. How am I supposed to get the king over there without moving anything else? I guess... Whatever. I'll try moving the king. It would help if you could pull it. Somehow. see how to do it. Wait. Never mind. I'm stupid. I get it. <sighs> Just push you here. For anyone watching, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to uh, probably try streaming. Uh, what's it called? Oh, Twilight Princess HD when that comes out on Twitch, because I'm not dealing with YouTube copyright or BS. But uh. Yeah, hopefully that turns out good. Huh. God, should probably just leave the ink ribbon, ink ribbons back in the safe room. Now why do I get the feeling there's gonna be zombies when I come out here now? <coughs> Maybe not. Maybe the game is merciful. nice if it was merciful. I've had to deal with enough crap already. <laughs> I still don't know how I'm going to survive this crap. Wait. Nope, this ain't where I want to go. Back this way. This way. <laughs> Let's see. here. May as well drop the ink here for now, unless there's another safe room I randomly come across. <coughs> Probably not gonna happen though. But what can he do? Alright. I probably should have just paused that, I'm sorry. Uh... But, uh, let's see. Just to reduce the amount of backtracking. Then again, this is Resident Evil. Well, classic Resident Evil, as far as I remember. A lot of old Resident Evil was nothing but backtracking. 
at least from what I hear, because I never actually played the old Resident Evils yet. <coughs> Excuse me. That's why I'm here to do in this series. If I don't die first, from whatever is making me cough. of evil. Don't, just, please don't lag. Thank you. Oh, there's something more. Marcus's Diary 1. December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can continue my research into progenitor. Excuse me. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming entirely pushy. But maybe I can turn this into my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all the, this virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in my way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer. He came to complain to me to again today. He thinks of Progenitor as nothing more than a money-spitting tool. What a fool. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop Progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th, at last. I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with Progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for Tyrant. I'm really not looking forward to fighting the Tyrants. October 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments, but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my exper in my research. January 13th. At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting this sense, this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now, finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for T.E. and the leeches. Fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today again, ag again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer wasn't in there, would it? I will announce to you at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Well, apparently your rewards didn't turn out well, did they? my meat shield. Please don't let there be any zombies. Please, please, please don't let there be any zombies. I'm begging you. Okay. I don't hear any zombies. This room is suspicious, though. I'm really afraid to go in here. <laughs> but, what can you do? If I'm lucky, maybe there'll be an herb. Any sounds? Yep. Oh, hi. Ah. No, 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 please get off. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Does this game do this to me? <sighs> Be right back again. And I'm back. And I just murdered those two zombies. <sighs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Down. I don't exactly believe in Jesus, but <clears throat> that's a whole other story. <sighs> oh crap, now she's in danger too. Oh, this is gonna suck. Let's put it in the mixing set. There's a note there, I think. Yeah, there's a note. First investigation unit notes. We are searching the facilities and it looks like a lot of the chemicals survive. Fortunately, the storage tanks are still all full. We've just started and there's still a lot we don't know, but it appears that the chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. This chemicals, The chemicals are scattered all about. Not because of the accident, more a result of plain mismanagement. When we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrawled on the back of the note. Red plus blue equals sulfuric acid. Green plus red equals stripping agent. All right. Oh. Darn. All right. Well... Just please pick up a blue herb. I don't ask for much. Exchange. You take that. Combine. Yes, I'm fully aware of what that actually does, so I'm still gonna wait. For a um, red herb to combine it, well, to use it. All right. Is there anything? No, a whole lot of nothing. I get the distinct feeling I'm about to be jumped for some reason. Oh. No jumping. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, bullets. your painting. Not oh, crap. <clears throat> and she can't carry that, can she? Nope. Of course not. Let's split up. You stay here. Roger. And I'll re equip my pistol. Reload. He used up most of my bullets killing those two zombies. Another stupid move. But what can you do? Now, push you. <sighs> These camera angles are driving me nuts. Alright. <laughs> and push you. There we go. Am 
wait a second. I don't have this <coughs> space to... Of course I don't. Why would I? That's what I get for getting those herbs. Um, wait. Darn it. Let's see. You know what? I'm just gonna drop this blue herb for now. Get the Book of Evil. Do you have to stare at it for five seconds every time? I mean, I know it's a Book of Evil, but give me a break. Yes, I already read this. Everyone already knows this one for already. Hopefully I won't die again. You stay here. Now let's see if the game tries to screw me. I know I'm paranoid, but Resident Evil's kind of famous for throwing random zombies. Or personally, I was expecting one of those leech monsters. Member P. Marcus, whatever it's called. This way. Okay. Okay. Now we're moving on. God, there were three night doors I'm gonna have to go through. This is just the first. go where that unlocks until after I've gone through all the night doors. <sighs> now, drop this ammo for now. Um, let's him and get the book open, get the statue. Got the last puzzle piece for this. I'll just stay there. Okay. I don't know why I'm putting her. Well, this is a safe room, so at least as far as I know, it's a safe room. I really hope nothing's ever gonna pop up in this room. I prefer to be safe. And now we have balance. Basement, just where I want to go. Um, wait, no. Does the map say anything? Uh, map says a whole lot of nothing. Great. I'm going to pick up these grenade rounds. Just in case. I really need to heal her, but there's nothing to heal her with. Where did I drop the. Okay, there's the ink ribbon. I really only try to save at the end of each episode. I'm not going to end it at 30 minutes. Uh.
Although, for the sake of my sanity, the XCOM 2 episodes today might be 30 minutes. Not trying to give you less content, it's just I've taken two NyQuil and I am probably going to pass out. Well, I can't fall asleep while I'm sitting up, but it'll suck. Map. Where do I go next? Um, so, I go that way. Yeah. This is where the night door was. I'm just gonna try going this way. And of course his inventory is full. I'll just have her follow me. Well, not right now, but I'll switch to her and bring her with me. Once I get there. Excuse me? It's not the noise I like to hear. Why is there bugs? Hmm. I didn't. I don't want bugs. Really? I. Seriously? Oh my god. I'm going to waste all that health already. Are you serious? You know what? I might, I'm not going to be able to kill all these things. Unless they're weak to fire. I don't have the shotgun rounds to kill them. You know what? Screw them. I'm just going to run. <clears throat> There's no way. There's no freaking way I'm going to kill all those. Jesus. That's ridiculous. First of all... That's fun. Oh, great. More pistol bullets. That's good. Some shotgun bullets would be great about now. I'm about to go to where Minx fought that boss, aren't I? Probably am. Um, let's see. If I go down, I'm not sure what's through here. It's probably it. Yeah, it's locked. Of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? Some herbs. Please. It would be great. Oh, great. Another puzzle. Three fundamental principles of Umbrella Corporation. This is gonna suck. Well, so this night door is useless for now. And completely surrounded by bugs. That's gonna be a pain to get by. Please leave me alone, bugs. No, thank you. Jesus Christ, man! Go, please. Move faster. Away from the bugs. Why are you taking your time going down the stairs? Just vault down it! Jesus Christ. I'm only checking this room because... Just in case there's... What am I doing? I know there's nothing in here. Oh, the water door that I don't have a key for yet. Great. <coughs> nope. Not messing with you, bugs. Go screw around with Elmer Fudd or something. I really don't care. That's such bullcrap. So then where do I go now? Just never stops that, will she? Uh, so... There's a 
those stairs. And then that door's locked. There's no way to get through that. Downstairs. Oh, there's nothing downstairs. Therefore, no. Wait. Huh. Oh, no, that's the water door. Never mind. As far as I can tell, then, I've got really no choice but to go to down those center stairs. All right. That would help if I could remember where the, uh... Oh, great. Just be creepy about it, why don't you? <laughs> um, no. 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 Bad. Bad com, uh, friggin' Capcom. God dang it! I'm, just, I'm gonna have to drop my shotgun here. I've only got one shot. I don't even know if pistols can take those things out. I'm gonna have to try, because this ain't gonna work. I really wish I would save right now. Because Jesus. And those things poison me, don't they? I really, really hope not. Because I don't want to have to heal him again. Nope. Please die. Please die. <sighs> Please tell me you're not poisoned. Okay, you're not poisoned. And you're fine. Ugh, I hate spiders. I really do. Especially big furry ones. Please tell me there's not more in this room. Game, you are working my- Oh my god, it's running fast! Nope! Jesus Christ, this isn't fair! What kind of crap is this? people supposed to fight these things properly? Especially when they just run at you. Oh. Nope. Please, stop. Stop, please. That probably poisoned me. Okay, it didn't poison me, but it put me in orange caution. Ugh. Really? And I've wasted most of my pistol bullets just on those two things. Please. I see you there. Just die. 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 I don't care how. Just die. You're dead. You're not hurting me. I swear to God, if there's a fourth one, I'm going to stab someone. This isn't fair at all. Okay, there's no more. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh great, another locked door! Just what I wanted. What's in here? Okay. Ooh, a green herb. And a typewriter. And an ink thing. Huh. Well, let's read this note. Correction Institute inmates list. Matthews K. Deceased disposal, disposal complete. Midge D. Deceased. Keith W. Savage C. Transport to research facilities. Uh, okay. 
This is the list. It's not really worth reading. Oh, they didn't delete them from the records, now did they? Excuse me. Please tell me I'm not about to get to that really crappy part Minx was at. Hmm. What's behind this door? Please no more spiders. Where am I? I don't like this room. This room is not something I want to do. Oh. It's this crappy room. If I remember right, there's some freaking liquors. Or those monkeys in this room at some point. I really don't want to deal with those right now with this health. I swear to God, whoever thought of those stupid spiders? Uh, this isn't fair. It kind of makes me regret not playing easy mode. I see why Minx did it now. I just wanted to try to be better, but apparently I'm not really better. freaking give me a red herb. That is not what I wanted to do. Ways. That did not heal me as much as I wish it would have. But it's about as good as it's gonna get. You know what? I'm gonna save now. Just because I know I'm coming up on a moment where if I screw up, I am going to need to save. Uh, well, I'm going to murder someone if I don't save. And no, I'm not ending this episode early. I'm just saving. Just, uh... I'm really, really gonna hate this part. Why do they have to make parts where we get separated? Separation sucks. Oh, I completely forgot to give him the grenade launcher because he's going to need it. Uh, darn it. Exchange. 
take that. Uh, at least I think he's going to need it. If he doesn't, then I'll just come back and use her. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. I'll exchange it with his knife. Not like I'm going to use that on anything at this point yet. All right. Please don't let there be anything in this room. I'm begging you. I'm really begging you. It's a large air vent, Rebecca could probably reach if she still on police soldiers. Here we go. I'm almost there. I'm glad I could be of service. A really stupid idea. A monumentally stupid idea. Why would you go into a room alone? And it's the worst kind of room. Come on. This is some weird of this freaking torture fantasy room. Let's see what's the document. About the power regulator. Due to the recent lightning strike, the power regulator continues to be inoperative. It wouldn't really matter about the power, except for the fact that the boiler room equipment is on the same grid. The equipment is so run down, I'll probably have to have it fixed up all the time. If you wish to exit rapidly, set the indicator to 70. Check first, though, that everything is connected to the chain. Joy. Wait. Oh, of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? Wait a second. Isn't this the room with a hole in the floor? Why don't you just let me have that battle axe? I mean, I know she's a dainty looking girl, but come on. Oh, great, it's a puzzle. Yes, yeah, adjust the panel. Um. Huh. Oh. Cancel. Fifty, sixty. No, that's the little fifties. Up. Down. Huh. Okay, up. Down. Up. Up. Nope. Darn it. Too far. I'm doing this wrong. Well, no doubt I'm doing it wrong. Up. Down. Up. Really? Jesus. Down. Up. was a mistake. Can't. Up. Up. No, that was a huge mistake. Okay. I think I might have figured it out, maybe? Uh. 
crap. Down. Up. Down. Up. Nope. Didn't figure it out. What was I thinking? Darn it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Trying not to waste time. But this puzzle is confusing. Sort of. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Up. Down. Please let this work. Up. Nope. Okay, it's pretty obvious I can't do five. Five just can't be done. Up. Down. Up. Up. No, that was another stupid mistake. Darn it! You know what? I'm gonna be right back. Alright, I feel like an idiot. Here we go. Up. Up. Down. Excuse me. Up. And up. There we go. Now for something horrible to happen. Or not. Or yes. Oh, great. Yep. That's exactly what I think it is. place for myself which means you are trespassing and I am very territorial well maybe I don't want to trespass oh great <sighs> freaking killer monkeys now here's something I don't understand um these now. Please. Great. Here we go. It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if hmm. somehow it is true, then a rope will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. Of course. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their no. superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. Uh -huh. Find it, set it off. And annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Oh great! Another tile that I'm gonna have to deal with at some point. <laughs> Screw you too, William. Oh my god. This is the worst freaking thing for me to have to do right now. Okay, that's where you are. I have to get him up. 
the stairs. Wait. You only are showing me the map down there? Are you crazy? Okay. Yeah, no crap. I'm gonna help you. Or I'm going to try. Uh, please tell me that I'm not gonna have to... Oh, screw you, monkey. You can fight by yourself, monkey. I will not screw around with you. Please tell me there's no more. Please tell me there's no more. Wait. Is this the right way? Kinda guess it's not. No. I'm gonna guess there's a zombie moving behind me. Yep. No. Please. Oh, thank you. I'm probably about to die, aren't I? I don't have time to deal with zombies right now. I really don't. Oh my god, I'm probably not going to make it. Why? Why, monkeys? And I'm dead. I hate everything right now. I'll be right back. Uh, be right back, folks. So, I'm back. Um, after nearly blowing my brains out because... Wait, please tell me that's not something standing in front of me. Uh, so, I realized I was wasting my time on that room full of monkeys. Uh, so now we're going to try to rescue Rebecca properly. Hopefully I don't fail again because Jesus Christ this is ridiculous uh, so here we go oh thank you herbs use wow really just one herb was made me fine okay I'll take it Just die, monkey. Um, uh, oh. Hi, monkeys. You're doing this to me now. Why are there so many monkeys? Please tell me I went the right way. Please tell me I went the right way. Screw you, spiders. Oh my god. This isn't fair. They're throwing everything at me. Okay, you're dead. Why? Isn't this where she is? Rebecca? Okay, she's clearly not in here. I've wasted time. God dang it. Left. Please be in here, Rebecca. Oh my god. This isn't cool. This just isn't cool. Wait. What? Where? I know, Rebecca. You're not making this easy on me, though. Please. This isn't the right way, is it? Where am I? <laughs> did I go down the wrong way? I clearly did. 
Now I have to run through the spiders. Just fantastic. Screw you, spiders. I swear to God, if she falls and dies because of this. This is not cool. Wait, but didn't I go through? Yeah, I went through this freaking room of monkeys. Oh, you were through here. Please, please, please. Rebecca. Thank you. God, I Hang thought on. I screwed up. I'll pull you up. Hey, Rebecca, guess what? We've got to fight a million enemies. Thank you. Don't mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? Oh, great. This is going to be a lengthy cutscene. This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. No, I haven't, because he's Rebecca, helping me. Answer me. <laughs> no, sir, I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him, over. You liar! Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. You dirty fibber. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh, well. Probably won't live long enough to worry about it. And then they made love in this decrepit room. I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. <sighs> oh god, my eyes. Our unit ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. Ow. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Is this Call of Duty now? Was no guerrilla hideout. Well, then who was killing you? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty handed. Oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Here we go. Oh, there goes my skull. Do it. Really? I guess we don't have enough bad stereotypes of white people murdering villagers. So did you execute those innocent people? No, I got my head kicked in with a, the butt of a rifle. Then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. Oh yeah, so something I don't understand in this game. Uh, they say the reason that the main characters never turn into zombies is because every time that you actually get bitten in the game through gameplay, what the crap are you doing, lady? Is uh, non-canon. The problem with that is they kind of ruined that in Resident Evil Zero, don't they? Because, uh... 
she just got bit by one of those infected monkeys in a cutscene. So, how does that work? I mean, maybe that's why she doesn't appear again after Resident Evil 1. But, with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully my commentary was a little better. Or, well, more enjoyable. Uh, if you enjoyed it, I could subscribe. Uh, if you didn't, well, I could subscribe anyways, please. I would really appreciate it. Or at least tell your friends. Uh, have a good night.